Hi, my friends. I'm getting ready for um, eating my pumpkin pie. And uh, I have to uh, check the lighting and I have to um, fix the background a little bit better. Here I am. So just be patient for just a sec. I'll be right back. It will actually be a Wikipedia reading video. Well, a Wiki Edia video but a different kind. It's 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 I'm reading from Wikipedia, not what I'm eating about, but about Thanksgiving. So I guess I can't call that a Wiki Edia video because usually when I make a Wiki Edia video then I eat what I read about. So here you see my turkey tablecloth you like it? I guess this turns out to be another goofy video I don't know why I mean the normal people won't watch it you know um, even though it's a Wikipedia video, I mean, about um, reading from Wikipedia, but it's about Thanksgiving, but I think maybe I'm just weird. Um, it's okay to be weird sometimes and goofy and silly. Yay! 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 I'll be eating my pumpkin pie. I had one the other day, a slice. And it was so, so, so cold. I think it was like frozen still. Had it in the refrigerator and it froze a little bit, I think. So we made it warm and it was the most delicious. It melted even a little bit. Only people like us pull off stuff like that, right? So, I guess that's unusual, but tell me how you like your pumpkin pie. Probably with whipped cream. Oh, I would love that too, but I didn't make any, no. I wasn't even planning on a video today, so I'll just be eating a slice of pumpkin pie. Slice of pumpkin pie. Yeah. Yummy. I'm so silly today, but that's just my way. It's Thanksgiving Day today. Not quite, but I'll make it so I have it ready for Thanksgiving a little bit early. My husband is helping me to get ready. Look, the first Thanksgiving at Plymouth. Oil on canvas. by Jenny Augusta Brownscombe in 1914. Let's see. Oh, look. Beautiful. All the people get, get together. Thanking God and eating, giving thanks. Look, even the baby in the cradle. And the Indians. Nice oil painting. It says observed by United States type national celebrations, giving thanks, prayer, feasting, spending time with family, football games, and parades. As the date is the fourth Thursday in November in 2018. Date November 22nd, 2019. Date November 28th, 2020. November 26th, 2021. Or do you say 2021? Date November 25th. Now it's 2019. It'll be on November 28th. Frequency annual related to Thanksgiving in Canada, Thanksgiving in Norfolk Island, Thanksgiving in 
Liberia, Thanksgiving in Leiden, Netherlands, Thanksgiving in St. Lucia. And that is another painting. Look, I'll show you closer. And the pie. Let me show you that picture more close up also. Wow. Let me show you. Actually, hold on. That seems to be the same picture or what? Silly me. No, it's not. Look. There are more pictures here. Look, you can go to Wikipedia, of course. He's holding the Holy Bible in his hands. A statue. Whoa. American Indians. They're having a feast together. Let's get the pie now. I really want to learn more about Thanksgiving, do you? OMG! <laughs> Look at this! Turkey! Are these turkey legs? Oh my god, drumsticks! Let's see if it goes into focus. Oh, that's America. I remember going to a really nice Thanksgiving meal in 1981. Some special lady and her husband invited us. They had adopted a lot of kids. He gave me away. My American Papa gave me away on our wedding. I turned the picture a little bit brighter. <laughs> what is he doing? <laughs> the pumpkin pie is in the oven. Thanksgiving parade. I think I went to one too once. Back when we lived in New York City. <laughs> President John F. Kennedy probably pardoning a turkey. It says good eating, Mr. President. No, I guess that one is going to be good food. Tasty. Happy Thanksgiving. Oh, and gee, look how good it looks. I don't know what that is about. Here's President George Bush. A hymn of Thanksgiving. I wonder what that sounds like. All set up now. I asked my husband to not cut this um, pumpkin here, but to leave it as one big piece rather than two small pieces. 
I'm gonna have to see if the light's okay. I guess it's all right. Here, let's eat. Pumpkin pie. Yay. Hmm. Mm. It melts in my mouth. It's actually hot. I like it this way. Mm. The spices are so good. I love pumpkin spice. There's so many spices in a pumpkin spice. Let me show you. Yummy. This this one is really sweet. Sweeter than the one I had two years ago. I think I had a pumpkin pie last year. Mm. To that they say to die for. I'm definitely having a food chasm. That's how they call it, don't they? You having a pumpkin pie too for Thanksgiving? I hope the camera is recording. My husband turned it on. Is it on? I guess the drumstick is that the leg, the upper thigh or something. You saw that in a picture. These people eating such a big drumstick of turkey. Mm -hmm. I bet they're gonna sleep well that night. They didn't eat too much. They eat way too much, they may be hurting. So, so. because of the what is it called again? in the turkey. How can I not remember? 
serotonin? Isn't it starting with a T? <laughs> mm -hmm. I'm going to get my dandy plant. It fits good with this. My lipstick. I'm not such a um, professional Wikipedia. reading video so I'll get the phone again and um, I'll read you some more hold on Wikipedia Thanksgiving United States Thanksgiving is a national holiday in the United States celebrated on the fourth Thursday of November. It originated as a harvest festival. Thanksgiving has been celebrated nationally on and off since 1798, I mean 89, with a proclamation by George Washington after a request by Congress. Thomas Jefferson chose not to observe the holiday and its celebration was intermittent until the presidency of Abraham Lincoln when Thanksgiving became a federal holiday in 1863 during the American Civil War. Lincoln proclaimed a national day of Thanksgiving and praise to our beneficent Father who dwelleth in the heavens to be celebrated on the last day. Thursday in November. Under President Franklin D. Roosevelt, the date was changed between 1939 and 1941 amid significant controversy. From 1942 onwards, Thanksgiving has been proclaimed by Congress as being on the fourth Thursday in November. Thanksgiving is regarded as being the beginning of the fall winter holiday season, along with Christmas and the New Year in American culture. This picture that I showed you um, is Thanksgiving at Plymouth, the one I, I what I read you before, um, Oil on Canvas by Jenny. Um, I read that already. It's in the National Museum of Women in the Arts. Pointedly, uh, the un Anachronistic Plains Indians headdresses. Let's do that again. Pointedly, the anachronistic Plains Indians headdresses depicted in her 1914 painting above were not repeated in this her 1925 painting of that event. The event that Americans commonly call the first Thanksgiving was celebrated by the pilgrims after their first harvest in the New World in October 1621. This feast lasted three days and, as accounted by attendee Edward Winslow, it was attended by 90 Native Americans and 53 pilgrims. The New England colonists were accustomed to regularly celebrating Thanksgivings, days of prayer, thanking God for blessings such as military victory or the end of a drought. I showed you this picture earlier. It says Shrine of the First U.S. Thanksgiving in 1619 at Berkeley, 100 in Charles City County, Virginia. Setting aside time to give thanks for one's blessings, blessings along with holding feasts to celebrate a harvest are both practices that long predate the European settlement of North America. The first documented Thanksgiving services in territory currently belonging to the United States were conducted 
by Spaniards and the French in the 16th century. Wisdom practices such as expressing gratitude, sharing and giving away are integral to many indigenous cultures and communities. Thanksgiving services were routine in what become, became the Commonwealth of Virginia as early as 1607 with the first permanent settlement of Jamestown, Virginia, holding a Thanksgiving in 1610. In 1619, 38 English settlers arrived at Berkeley 100 in Charles City County, Virginia. The group's London Company char Charter specifically required that the day of our ship's arrival at the place assigned in the land of Virginia shall be yearly and perpetually kept holy as a day of thanksgiving to Almighty God. Sorry, my friends, if I make mistakes in reading it. Three years later, after the Indian massacre of 1622, the Berkeley Hundred site and other outlying locations were abandoned and colonists moved their celebration to Jamestown and other more secure spots. As a true story of the first Thanksgiving American Experience PBS Harvest Festival observed by the pilgrims at Plymouth uh, let me show you. And the statue, the pilgrim by Augustus. Augustus St. Gaudens, Gaudens, 1904, the buckle hat, oh, I didn't even notice it, um, atop the sculpture's head, now associated with the pilgrims, oops, with the pilgrims in pop culture was fictional, pilgrims never wore such an item, nor has any such hat ever existed as a serious piece of apparel. They began now to gather in the small harvest they had and to fit up their houses and dwellings against winter being all well recovered in health and strength, and had all things in good plenty. For as some were thus employed in affairs abroad, others were exercised in fishing, about cod and bass and other fish, of which they took good store, of which every family had their portion. All the summer there was no want, and now began to come in store of fowl, as winter approached, of which this place did abound when they can be used, but afterwards decreased by decrees. And besides waterfowl, there was great store of wild turkeys, of which they took many, besides venison, etc. Besides, they had about a peck a meal a week to a person, or now since harvest Indian corn to the proportion, which made many afterwards write so largely of their plenty here to their friends in England, which were not feigned, but true reports. Sorry, my friends, if I didn't read it so correctly. Let me make this prideal. The first Thanksgiving, 1621, Oil on Canvas by Jean Leon Jerome Ferris, 1899. The painting shows common misconceptions about the event that persist 
to modern times. The painting shows common misconceptions about the event that persist in uh, two modern times. Pilgrims did not wear such outfits, and the one Panuak were dressed um, in the style of Native Americans from the Great Plains. Edward Winslow in Maud's Relation wrote, whom for three days we entertained and feasted. And they went out and killed five deer, which we brought to the plantation and bestowed on the governor and upon the captain and others. And although it be not always so plentiful as it was at this time with us, yet by the goodness of God, we're so far from want that we often wish you partakers of our plenty. Our harvest being gotten in, our governor sent four men on fowling, that so we might after a special manner rejoice together, after we had gathered the fruits of our labor. They four in one day killed as much fowl as, with a little help beside, served the company almost a week at which time, amongst other recreations, we exercised our arms, many of the Indians coming amongst us, and among the rest their greatest king, Masasuit, with some ninety men. The pilgrims held a true thanksgiving celebration in 1623, following a fast and a refreshing 14-day rain, which resulted in a larger harvest. Here, let me show you. Referring to the 1623 harvest, after the nearly cat catastrophic drought prior for the road, and afterwards the Lord sent them such reasonable showers with interchange of fair warm weather, as though his blessing caused a fruitful and liberal harvest to their no small comfort and rejoicing, for which mercy and time convenient they also set apart a day of thanksgiving. But this time harvest was come, and instead of famine now God gave them plenty, for which they blessed God, and the effect of their particular planting as well seen, for all had pretty well, so as any general want of famine had not been amongst them since to this day. My friends, I hope I read that correctly. Sorry if I didn't. You definitely can go to Wikipedia and read it. There's so much more and more and more and more. And I wanted to maybe read this here. I'll let you read it.
There's a lot to read. This picture I showed you earlier, it's a sketch by Alfred Wout of Thanksgiving in camp of General Louis Planko during the U.S. Civil War in 1861. I showed you this earlier. Home to Thanksgiving, Lithograph by Currier and Ives Ives, 1867. The year's drawing towards its close has been filled with the blessings of fruitful fields and healthful skies. To the bounty, to these bounties, which are so constantly enjoyed that we are prone to forget the source from which they come, others have been added, which are of so extraordinary a nature that they cannot fail to penetrate and soften even the heart which is habitually insensible to the ever watchful providence of Almighty God. In the midst of a civil war of unequaled magnitude and s severity which has sometimes seemed to for foreign states to invite and to provoke their aggression, peace has been preserved with all nations, order has been ma maintained, the laws have been respected and obeyed, and harmony has prevailed everywhere except in the theater of military conflict. Flicked. Sorry about that. Well, the theater has been greatly contracted by the advancing armies and navies of the Union. Needful diversions of wealth and of strength from the fields of peaceful industry to the national defense have not arrested the plow, the shuttle, or the ship. The axe had enlarged the borders of our settlements and the mines as well of iron and coal as of the precious metals have yielded even more abundantly than heretofore. Population has steadily increased, notwithstanding the waste that has been made in the camp, the siege and the battlefield, and the country rejoicing in the consciousness of augmented strength and vigor is permitted to expect continuance of years with large increase of freedom. No human counsel have devised nor have any mortal hand worked out these great things. They are the gracious gifts of the Most High God who, while dealing with us in anger for our sins, have nevertheless remembered mercy. It has seemed to me fit and proper that they should be solemnly reverently and gratefully acknowledged as with one heart and voice by the whole American people. I do therefore invite my fellow citizens in every part of the United States and also those who are at sea and those who are sojourning in foreign lands to set apart and observe the last Thursday of November next as a day of thanksgiving and praise to our beneficent Father who dwelleth in the heavens, and I recommend to them that while offering up the ascriptions justly due to him for such singular deliverances and blessings, they do also with humble penitence for our national perverseness and disobedience commend to his tender care all those who have become widows orphans, mourners, or sufferers in the lament 
lemon tuple civil strife in which we are unavoidably engaged and fervently implore the interposition of the almighty hand to to heal the wounds of the nation and to restore it as soon as may be consistent with the divine purposes to the full enjoyment of peace, harmony, tranquility, and union. In testimony whereof I have hereunto set my hand and caused the seal of the United States to be affixed. Done at the city of Washington this third day of October, in the year of our Lord, 1863, and of the independence of the United States, the 88th Proclamation of President Abraham Lincoln, October 3, 1863. Since 1863, Thanksgiving has been observed annually in the United States. The holiday superseded Evacuation Day, a de facto national holiday that had been held on November 25, each year prior to the Civil War, and commemorated, commemorated the British withdrawal from the United States after the American Revolution, post-Civil War era. Servicemen eating a Thanksgiving dinner at the end of World War I, 1918. Yum! And now I remember the world it's tryptophan. During the second half of the 19th, 19th century, Thanksgiving traditions in America varied from region to region. A traditional New England Thanksgiving, for example, consisted on a raffle held on Thanksgiving Eve, in which the prizes were mainly geese or turkeys. A shooting match on Thanksgiving morning, in which turkeys and chickens were used as targets, church services, and then the traditional feast, which consisted of some familiar Thanksgiving staples such as turkey and pumpkin pie. That's what we had today. Pumpkin pie. And some not-so-familiar dishes such as pigeon pie. The earliest high school football rivalries took root in the rivalries took root in the late 19th century in Massachusetts, stemming from games played on Thanksgiving. Professional football took root as a Thanksgiving stable during the sports genesis in the 1890s, and the tradition of Thanksgiving football, both at the high school and professional level, continues to this day. In New York City, people would dress up in fanciful masks and customs and roamed the streets in merry-making mobs. By the beginning of the 20th century, these mobs had morphed into ra ragamuffin parades, um, consisting mostly of children dressed as ragamuffins. Ragamuffins? In custom of old and mismatched adult clothes and with deliberately smudged faces, but by the late 1950s, the, tr the tradition had diminished enough to only exist in its original form in a few communities around New York, with many of its traditions subsumed into the Halloween custom of trick-or-treating. There's more and more and more and more to read. Um, I wanted to check out what it said, let's see here, in 1940 and 1941, years in which November had f a four Thursdays, Roosevelt declared the third one as Thanksgiving, as in 1939 some states went along with the change, while others retained the traditional last, last Thursday date. I showed you this earlier. Dr. Mordecai Johnson, president of Howard University, 
serving portions of Thanksgiving turkey to members of his family in 1942. Hungry diners line up outside a church for free Thanksgiving meal in Eugene, Oregon in 2013. The poor are often provided with food at Thanksgiving time. Most communities have annual food drives that collect non-perishable packaged and canned foods and corporations sponsor charitable distributions of stable food and Thanksgiving dinners. The Salvation Army enlists volunteers to serve Thanksgiving dinners to hundreds of people in different lo locales. Additionally, pegged to be five days after Thanksgiving is Giving Thursday, a celebration of charitable giving. It says in the United States, certain kinds of food are traditionally served at Thanksgiving meals. Turkey, usually roasted and stuffed, but sometimes deep fried instead, is typically the featured item on most Thanksgiving feast tables. So much so that Thanksgiving is also coll colloquially known as Turkey Day. In fact, I wonder what they call it in Turkey. In fact, 40, haha, in fact, 45 million turkeys were consumed on Thanksgiving Day alone in 2015. Oh, and she 45 million turkeys? With 85% of Americans partaking in the meal. That's an estimated 276 million Americans dining on the festive poultry, spending an expected one billion, I mean 1.05 billion on turkeys for Thanksgiving in 2016. This is making me hungry. Mashed potatoes with gravy, stuffing, Sweet potatoes, cranberry sauce, sweet corn, various fall vegetables, squash, Brussels sprouts, and pumpkin pie are among the side dishes commonly associated with Thanksgiving dinner. Green bean casserole was introduced in 1955 and remains a favorite. All of these are actually native to the Americas or were introduced as a new food source to the Europeans when they arrived. Turkey may be an exception. In his book Mayflower, Nathaniel so and so, and then you can read more and more and more. As a result, it says on the bottom here, of the size of Thanksgiving dinner, Americans eat more food on Thanksgiving than on any other day of the year. Yeah, they do. They stuff themselves with stuffed turkey. Thanksgiving Day service for members of the United States Army Air Corps held in a church in Cransley, Northampton, uh, Hamptonshire, England. November 23, 1944, Thanksgiving was founded as a religious observance for all the members of the community to give thanks to God for a common purpose. Historic reasons for community Thanksgivings are the 1541 Thanksgiving Mass after the expedition of, uh, let me let you read it. I couldn't really pronounce this so right. So, I can't believe how much information is there on Thanksgiving, for Thanksgiving.
what does it say here? Many houses of worship offer worship services and events on Thanksgiving themes the weekend before, the day off, or the weekend after Thanksgiving. Um, at home, it is a holiday tradition in many families to begin the Thanksgiving dinner by saying grace, a prayer before or after a meal. The custom is portrayed in the photograph family holding hands and praying before Thanksgiving meal. That's wonderful. I remember us doing that many times too. We wanted to hold our hands and pray and give thanks. Before praying, it is a common practice at the dinner table for each person to uh, tell one specific reason they are thankful to God this year. I was just going to say that that's what we did too. Everyone got a chance to say in our family what they were thankful for. While Grace is said, some families hold hands until the prayer concludes, often indicated with an Amen. 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 Amen, hallelujah. Amen. Amen. And so on, huh? Yeah, it was right outside the Macy's when we went there. I remember I remember going to the um to a parade. The oldest Thanksgiving Day parade is the Philadelphia uh, whatever. American football is an important part of many Thanksgiving celebrations in the United States, a tradition that dates to the earliest era of the sport in the late 19th century. In ice hockey, the National Hockey League announced as part of its decade-long extension with NBC that they would begin airing a game on the Friday afternoon following Thanksgiving, beginning the 2011-12 NHL season. The game has since been branded as the Thanksgiving Showdown. In Canada, Thanksgiving is in October, although no games were scheduled. Professional wrestling promotions have typically held premier pay-per-view events on or around the time of Thanksgiving. Many American cities hold road running events known as turkey trots on Thanksgiving morning so much so that as of 2018, Thanksgiving is the most popular race day in the USA. Television, while not as prolific as Christmas specials, which usually begin right after Thanksgiving. There are many special television programs transmitted on or around Thanksgiving, such as a Charlie Brown Thanksgiving, in addition to the live parades and football games mentioned above. In some cases, television broadcasters begin programming Christmas films and specials to run on Thanksgiving Day, taking the day as a signal for the beginning of this of the Christmas season. Turkey pardoning. So it is um, the pardoning of the turkeys of the of turkeys. The practice of pardoning turkeys in this manner became a permanent tradition in 1989. 
There are legends that state that the pardoning tradition dates to the Harry Truman administration or even to the anecdote of Abraham Lincoln pardoning his son's pet turkey. U.S. President George Bush, W. Bush, visits Iraq to have Thanksgiving dinner with soldiers in November 2003. OMG, what a long Wikipedia reading that was about Thanksgiving. It was very much very long and I still didn't read it all. I hope that you watched a little bit of it and thank you for giving me a like, a yeah, a thumb up, leave a comment and tell me what you'll be eating for Thanksgiving and how excited you are about getting together with your family and friends. And uh, thank you. Thank you for watching. Goodbye, my friends. Bye. Till soon. Bye. Not for such a long video. Bye.